Yo, what's up? It's your boy Pac Jr. And what I got for you guys today is going over what I believe is an amazing little mini scheme for y'all today. I actually had a lot of fun running this. I'll actually be able to show you some game clips at the end just to show you how I was using this scheme. And it's a little overpowered if you have a nice running back. And the cool thing about it is you can actually come out and run a lot of complimentary plays with it. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So we are in this Seattle Seahawks playbook. It's a really popular playbook. You can get all your adjustments set up up here. You got a lot of amazing formations. And believe it or not, this little mini scheme is gonna come out of the single back doubles. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and put a running back in this position. That way you just get like the optimal, um, like you can audible to other running formations. We're gonna get rid of inside zone for a moment and we're gonna go ahead and put 01 trap. You can get rid of double slants and you can keep your inside zone. Um, I like to get rid of four verticals and I like to go ahead and put PA counter post. And then the last but not least, where's it at? I like to do this uh, Y shallow as well. Um, but you could also do this uh, fade smash. Me personally, I do like to have a running back in this particular scheme and I like to come out and stretch. So first things first, if they come out, let's say like uh, three, four, Tampa two, right? Something like this right here. So you wanna just know the numbers advantage, right? And the big thing is like, if they're in a three down lineman set and they're like this, you already know 100%, boom, that you're gonna be able to hit this right here and then be able to pick up a little bit of yardage, right? So if they're really condensed inside, go ahead and hit that bubble screen every single time. And watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna audible to this 0-1 trap, boom, and I want you to just see how slow it is and check that out. You hit, get, you just get this beautiful lane. You already know 0-1 trap is really hard to stop. Boom, there it is, check that out. And then you just right there, I mean, this is practice mode. You always know the sheds are insane. You know, you can't trust them, but I just wanna show you just running this a few times. Um, that is, yeah, like my right tackle just got shoved to the ground. Um, but you're gonna see the potential that this has. And if you run this 0-1 trap, woo! People cannot run 146 on you. It's just impossible. Like it literally is impossible to run 146 when you have this 01 trap. Um, and then the beautiful part is you can audible to this strong H and run stre uh, stretch alert. So boom, check this out. He's already offset right there. And there it is, boom. You just wait for that block to develop. He just, I don't know why he didn't block him, but you're gonna be able to run that stretch depending on the look that your opponent is giving you. So let's go ahead and change plays real quick. Let's go cover two man, nickel two, four, five. Again, a lot of people love to come out in this formation and let's come out in this stretch, right? So now you're gonna imagine, okay, they're gonna put this guy in a spy right here, put this guy in a spy and they're gonna use this guy right here, right? Let's go ahead and shift our line. Now you're gonna see just momentarily, let me go to this guy right here, right? That in this set right here, we can just audible to this strong H wing and you're gonna see that that guy does go over to that side right there, but you're generally going to have good numbers advantage, boom, right there, and be able to go outside, especially if you have a very fast player. You just see that you're able to just hit that outside really nicely. Now let's go ahead and run this one more time, double spies on the field, let's go to this guy right here, and then let's just see how this looks like, right? We run this play, boom, and you're gonna see, oh my God, you're gonna see that you're still, let me go ahead, you just saw right there, Let's go audible. I'm gonna be on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and run the stretch right here. Boom, there it is, right? You see that you can get a really beautiful lane right there as well on that stretch. So you can see that you can still run the stretch on this nickel formation because you're away from them. And you can also still run uh, this 0-1 trap. Obviously the sheds are insane, but these run plays alone are really, really tough to stop, right? Your opponent has to really commit to this absolutely in order for them to be able to stop it that's why i like this particular formation and again if you put that wide receiver on the outside you can audible a bunch if you want to you can now audible to that next running formation or let's go ahead and come back out real quick and let's go ahead and put a tight end here right so what about if you put a tight end let me just go random play real quick well, now you can audible to pistol ace, which I'll talk about in a moment, which is kind of annoying to deal against. Gun ace offset, which lets you audible back up and run 
inside zone and O1 trap. The gun wing slot offset, you can do that same thing. You can run single back deuce close, single back wing, and single back uh, wing slot. So you can actually audible to quite a bit of stuff right here. Again, just to show you, boom. Check that out. Now you can just run this play right here and you got a wide receiver in this position, which is kind of cool, right? You can run this gun, you know, wing slot offset, uh, offset and you have your O1 trap out of this as well. So they better have like O1 trap inside zone defense, right? Then you can also run, there it is, single back deuce close. Boom, flip the play. Boom, there it is, right? And last but not least, you can run single back wing, which I do believe you have the stretch and the dive. And then you can do something like this right here. Oops, like this right here. Boom. So you can see that you can audible around a lot, right? And here we go. I'm just going to rechange this up real quick. There it is. And now we can run this stre uh, stretch alert bubble. Boom. And we're off to the races, right? So you can see the potential that this single back doubles has and how you want to play around with things so let's go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and keep a running back in this spot for a moment or let's go ahead and put a wide receiver here uh ba -ba boom all right so we're going to come out in this pa post pa corner post okay we're going to talk about pass plays now if people run something like let's say cover three sky things like this right whoever they're going to use her I want to just show you that this is just generally a really good setup. You're going to hit Y, B, left, uh, stick to the right. That's going to put him on an out route. You're going to hit Y, R, B, right stick up. That's going to put him on a wheel route. And then you're going to hit Y, Y, R, B, uh, Y, Y. That's the slot receiver. And there's a right uh, trigger. You're going to put him on a hitch route. And this is how it looks like here. So you have a really nice flood concept, a beater coming over the top. And then you have a wheel route to this right side. So boom, there it is. Boom. You're going to see that you can pass lead this right there. It's a beautiful window to throw it in versus cover three. We'll always get open. Let me go and do this one more time. There you go. Boom. There it is. Right. And you're going to see that. Boom. We're going to be able to throw it to this guy versus a cover three as well. And so you got an option to the left, an option to the right, and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and go hard flat. There is our setup real quick, just real nice and easy. Boom, oh, I think this is a cover two. Boom, we're gonna be able to bomb this guy right here over the top. Now you must imagine that they're probably gonna try to run some man to man to basically, right, try to beat you. So, you know, they might spy this guy right here and then they come down because, you know, they put him in a purple, you're gonna run the O1 one trap and you're gonna beat them every time. So they have to spy against this formation, right? And if you run this play setup like this, you're gonna see that it's still gonna be really effective. Now, I'll occasionally I'll hit Y, A, and hit left stick up, and that'll put them on a deeper cross. It's just better versus man to man. Boom, there it is. But again, you're still gonna be able to bomb this over the top. He's just a little slow right now, but you got Hill, you got, you know, Cooks, or you got Calico in that position. Now I'm gonna show you one last cool thing versus man to man, and it only works, I don't know why it works. Sometimes in some formations it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this formation, it does. You're gonna hit Y, A, and put him on a delayed fade like this, right? You can go ahead and double team this guy right here. You can put this guy on a streak, and then you have this little like flood concept, right? So check this out, boom, and you're gonna release him. Oh, he got, Oh my God, he got mold. <laughs> that that happens, right? He sometimes doesn't get released on this double post play. Here it is. Put him on a uh, put him on a delay fade. Double team this guy right here. Boom. Check that out. Release him. Boom. And you can see right there that the man to man does not like it. It just assigns it elsewhere. So check this out. Let me just put him on a delayed fade real quick. Let me ID this guy. See if that's gonna work real fast. So check this out. Boom release him and check that out. You're gonna be able to throw it to this guy right here against man to man. So, all right, so here's a game that I was losing in and I'll show you just kind of how I was approaching this game right here. So he's got a four down lineman set. So I already knew, okay, that's gonna allow me to oh one trap this and then I hit this lane right here. You have to be patient. I do not hold turbo. And you see that I was able to pick up, literally I have eight rushes for 38 yards. So here we go. I'm just changing some plays up and then I'll show you just so you can see, you know, just kind of how I approach this drive. So here we go, we're gonna run this play. 
There it is, boom. I did the play action fake. I saw that he had a purple, so then I threw the drag underneath. I didn't really cover this play in particular, but all I did was drag that outside receiver. That way I have a nice flood concept, right to bolt to the right, uh, from right to left. And then I had the post coming over the top. So here we go. Again, this is all one trap territory for me. Again, boom, right there. And you see, again, I was able to pick up like, what, 10 to 12 yards, <laughs> I mean, every time. And he's running zone, so that just makes it even better for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to this Y shallow. I know I didn't really cover it. It's just got a really nice post over the top. So I put that guy on a slant, option route, drag, boom, there you go. And then I just threw it to this guy right here. Um, obviously he broke a tackle, but again, this, this offense is all about just, you know, short yardage plays, especially they're going to have these purples on the field. Give me these, uh, put me in second and six. I want to be in second and six. Those are great positions to be in. Here we go. Oops. I think I messed up this, uh, play right here. I think I kind of got back though. Here we go again you know when in doubt i hit him with some healthy oh one trap there i did have the lane i just had bad stick so that wasn't the greatest stick there so now i am in third and five right so let me just show you kind of what i was thinking and what i was going through in this play real quick so now i'm going to do my setup that i kind of spoke to you about i put him on that crossing route and then you're going to see what i do here right i put rb on this wheel route just like i showed you i put that guy uh over there to the left side i put him on a streak and harrison on this uh, hitch route boom and you can see that i can hit the hitch route i can hit that and I, I mean literally i feel like everything was open on that play and so then i hit the tight end over the top super simple so now here we go again you know first and 10 why not hit him with the little oh one trap real quick i think i actually tried this inside zone Oh no, I, I went to 0-1 trap, that's right, here we go, boom, there it is, 0-1 trap, all right, boom, hey, four yards, I mean, that wasn't bad run defense, or, or three yards, right, but I've got four yards on that play, so here we go. So you're going to see in this play that it was third and 20, and the reason uh, you can come out in bunch, audible down, I came out in this, he came out in 146, so that's going to make me run 0-1 trap every time. So right there, I'll run 0-1 trap. And you're gonna see that I picked up literally 18 yards versus 146, right? 146 is not a feasible offense. So here I'm gonna hurry up the ball and I'm gonna run this 0-1 trap yet again because you're gonna see that I went to the right side. Oh my God, thank God. I mean, he got a little of a lucky shed, but I'm gonna hurry this up because there is just no way that they're gonna be able to run this uh, 146 on 01 trap. And the best part about it is that you can be in gun bunch and audible straight down to this right here. So just know I moved, I took Hill, I motioned him in just to block that corner right there and boom, check that out. And then we went right there. And then again, we were able to go ahead and get our first touchdown versus this player who was very stubborn versus 146. So the cool part is really, your opponents cannot run 146 on you with this 01 trap. It's just extremely hard to do. Um, and you're picking up, you just saw it was in third and 20 and then I just ended up scoring. So there it is y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. That's out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. With that being said, I'm out. Take care. Capiche.